最強のロイヤルナイツは登場だ What's up guys, this is Jason Anis Builder 22 back here again this time with another product opening and it's funny time we are going to open the brand new Digimon BT06 box Yes, it's finally time the box has finally arrived and I can't wait to open it because it contains a lot of Royal Knights in this set and I'm really and hoping to get the strongest Royal Knight in the set my buddy Alphamon we have been waiting so long for it to appear so with a little help from Alphamon over here I'm gonna set him aside over right here we hope let's see if we can get another Alphamon for myself so let's go guys let me set it here Right, we are going. I have a total of uh, four boxes here, but I'm not gonna open all of them. I'm just gonna open maybe one, and if I have enough time, I might open another one for you guys. So let's go. Oh, by the way, I'm right here now. Right now, with a friend of mine. His name is Ivan. Say hi, Ivan. Hello. Yes. So, what do you expect to see me pull from this set? Okay, that that's one. That's definitely yeah, one. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, just one is also good. Oh, uh, before that, I forgot to mention, guys, that if you buy two boxes of BT06, you will receive a deck, a very nice uh, deck case over here. They have a few different designs. I got two these different designs. One is the uh, Peldramon design, and the other one is the uh, Om Omnimon or the Omega Mon design. So yeah, please do pick. Remember to remember to pick them up from your locals. So. And one box, as we can see, we have these two little packs over here. One pack contains the Digitama, the random Digitamas, which we will open later. The other one contains uh, some very good reprints. As you can see here, we have a uh, Mimon. Then we have a uh, 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 Aldomon, yeah, Aldomon. And then we have the Chaosmon Aldo Arms. So we are going to open that later. So let's get on to the packs. We're going to start with the right side first because I'm a right hander. Sorry, let me just move my box aside. Okay, let's see. Our first rare is Pulsemon, very nice. Uh, very good staple for yellow. And I forgot to mention guys, now one every box has every box uh, rare card is a foil now, which is pretty pretty nice from what I see. We have another rare, this is the Gabumon's uh, option card, very nice. So one box is, if you don't know for Digimon, one box is guaranteed uh, four foils and if uh, if you're lucky you might pull a secret or maybe you might put a fifth foil, I'm not too sure but so let's see what we get. So this is another one of the system ones, this is the level 4 one, very nice. Uh, system ones is always good for just one deck. This is Goblin one? I'm not too sure. What's this? Ogre, Ogre. Oh, Ogremon. Okay, there we go. Another option spell. This is the Agumon option spell. Very nice. So, for this pack, if you buy a if you buy a pack, you're guaranteed a foil because the red cards are actually foil anyway. So. Another option card, this is the Gangkumon uh, spell, very very nice. This spell actually is quite devastating. It destroys all of your opponent's Digimon with the highest cost for an 8 cost. So yeah, quite a quite a, actually a devastating card for black. This is, we have another tamer, this is uh, Matt Ishida. So this is the, the option card that will let you evolve from your Gabumon all the way to your level 7 Gabumon uh, Bonds of Friendship, is it? Yes, there we go. Okay, we have our first foil and it is Dinosmon from Yellow. Yes, this card is actually pretty stupid in my opinion. So if you don't know what it does, it's, it's a uh, Yellow foil. 12 cost, uh, 12,000 power, if I uh, level evolve 4 memory for level 5, from my from level 5, then his effect is on uh, on evolve, you can trash the top card of your security, then if you do, you can 
you can check the top 6 cards of your top of your deck then you can add up to 2 level 6 or lower yellow Digimon from among them to your hand then the rest go back to the bottom of the deck or the rest go to the trash then the second effect is once per turn and only once once either player's turn if a, if a, the top card of your security is trashed and if you have 3 or less security you can you can uh, recover 1 and the last effect is what the last effect again Okay, oh, that's all. Okay, so wait, nice. This is our first SR from the from the box. So we are left with three foils, hoping to pull something more, and, and maybe we might even pull a secret in this box. So another rare. By the way, guys, if you're wondering why I zoom out that much, because I need more space to open my boxes. There's too, just too many things to show. And we got another system on. This is the level three system on. Definitely needed for the Jasmine deck. Okay, we got another seeker. Oh, and we got it, guys. This is, we got Alpha Mon. Very, very nice. So this is the secret version of Alpha Mon, and this is the alternate art for Alpha Mon in this set. Very, very nice. We actually put Alpha Mon. So very, very happy to see my favorite Royal Knight in one of my boxes. So this is our secret. That means we're good. That means we are still left with three foils from the first box. So if you don't know what Alpha Mon does, let me explain. Okay guys, sorry I'm back. There was a bit of technical difficulty. So like I was explaining, I, gotta, I just got to explain the whole skill again. So the first skill of Alpha Mon is if this card is checked for security, you can rev uh, after the battle, you can add this card back to your hand. Then if you or your opponent controls a uh, Royal Knight, you can choose Chuff for your opponent's Digimon and they cannot attack uh, until the end of the turn. So that's the first skill. Then the second skill is when he attacks, you can pay up to five memory. And if you do, for each memory, for each one memory you pay, you gain he gains a thousand DP. So he can power up to uh, approximately a sixteen k. Yes, because he because uh, he gains one thousand for each for each one thousand DP for each memory. So you might not want to use that skill, but it's still a good skill to clear some uh, level sevens if your opponent has level sevens. Then the last skill is. After battle, he gains two memory. So yes, a very very strong uh, card. Definitely, uh, definitely a secret worthy card. So very very nice. So this is our second foil. So this is the, just the right side, and I only have one pack left for the right side. So let's quickly finish it. Then our last card. This is the red uh, musketeer. What's the name again? Okay. Magna Kid. Magna Kid, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So that is for the Musketeer decks. Musketeer, Musketeer decks are looking to be pretty interesting for this new pack because they, they, you might, we might be able to make a hybrid Musketeer deck now because uh, Musketeer decks can use a lot of spells from other cards. So now let's go on to the left side. We have another rare. This is the, what's this again? Ma. Ma. Markmon, yeah, yeah, there we go. I remember now. Markmon, there we go. Right, we have another option card. This is the yellow option card. Wyvern's Breath. Wyvern's Breath. Dinos uh, attack move. If I'm not wrong, he chooses an opponent's uh, Digimon. It minus 15,000 DP. So eventually, uh, wipe, uh, wipe out for any Digimon. Because 15. 15,000 DP is actually the normal power that a, uh, the, higher, the highest power a Digimon will have and we have another foil this is the black uh, SR what's the name? Mami Mon? Yeah. yeah okay we see Mami Mon not sure about the skill but I want to check, take a look over oh yeah yes now I remember this is this is the decoy effect that if your all your Digimon will be destroyed you can sacrifice him instead sacrifice one of your other Digimon instead yes there we go Next we have another oh so we have the Tamer Tai Chi the opposite of uh, Matt Ishida the one that can same thing Alright sorry guys a slight technical error again so let me explain this is the Tai Chi Tamer so it's the same thing as your Matt uh, Ishida uh, Tamer it, you can straight away jump from your Agumon straight away to your uh, Agumon bonds of Courage, yes. So, yeah. So, pre 
pretty really strong tamers but at the end of the turn they if you have one or less security if you have one or more security you have to destroy the bonds of uh the bonds of kiss bonds of friendship and the bonds of courage so quite a strong tamer right we are almost at the end and we are left with two foils so let's get on so let's see here we have another option card this is the eosmon option card very nice Pretty interesting next okay if i'm wrong we have another foil this is our jasmon nice another royal knight so if you don't know what Jasmine does, 11 cost, 11,000, 3 cost to Digivolve. And on uh, Evolve, you can play a System Mon directly from your hand to, to your field. Then the second effect is once per turn, you can... Whenever another Digimon comes into play... Uh, whenever, so yes, whenever another Digimon comes into play, you can have it gain 3,000 DP and penetrate. So very very strong card it's actually a very very uh quite a strong royal knight and it combines just nicely with the system ones because whenever you play him you evolve him you call a system one for free so his first skill props already props his second skill so that's what makes him very good so another tamer this is the uh what's his name again uh takiru and Hikari, yeah, there we go. So, what's the skill? Okay, uh, this tamer, when when your security is less than your opponent at the start of your turn, you get to plus two memory. And during your turn, when your yellow Digimon attacks, you can rest this tamer to choose one of your opponent Digimon minus 1k. Mm. Uh, pretty good synergy for Crusader more, I would say. Yes, very, very nice. Myself. Very, very nice. Right. Yes, and this is our last SR. This is the Skull Greymon. So, yeah, quite quite a interesting card for purple. I don't expect Skull Greymon to be purple though. I expect him to be black because it's Skull Greymon. But yeah, they gave him the purple. So that is uh, that is probably our last point. This is another Tamer. This is uh Mimi and Sora. So the first skill is. Have, if your opponent doesn't have a level 4 or lower Digimon, you gain plus 2 memory. Start of turn. Then the second skill is. Whenever your Pokemon Digimon attacks, you can draw one, drop one. Oh. Uh, pretty good graveyard setup. Yeah, pretty good graveyard setup for, for the new uh, Purple Playstyle. Purple Playstyle now relies on you discarding a card and drawing a card. So, get on. Yes, we have the new Hack. This is Hackmon, yes, Hackmon. So on play, uh, you can check top 5 for up to uh, Hackmon or Jasmon or Sistermon. So he searches up to 2. So he searches for basically everything in your in your deck. So it's very, very strong for level 3. Okay. This is the Black Tamer, very nice. This is uh, Easy and Joe. So the first skill is if you if your opponent does not have, if your opponent, opponent has two or more Digimon, he gets you get start of the turn plus two memory, and so back to what, what we were saying. The second skill is when one of your Digimon uh is deleted, you can uh, rest him to draw draw one. So last pack of the first box. So what will you get? We are getting ah uh, the White Tamer for Eosmon. Yes. Not too sure about the effect because it's very long. I'm not gonna bother reading about the effect. But so yeah, so let's go through our first box again. So our foils we managed to we, we did pretty well. We pulled Scout Greymon. Uh, this is Mummymon, Jasmon, Dinosmon, and last but not least, my favorite, the secret Alpha Mon. So we out of our first box we already put three Royal Knights, so I'm really really excited to find out. What we're gonna pull for the for the second box, so I will be opening another box for you guys. So please stay tuned for that. All right, guys, we are back and we are going to open the second box right here. So hoping to get another secret if we can, if we're lucky, because I already got one secret from the first box already. 
the other two boxes, I think I just, I just gonna, I'm not gonna fill them. I just gonna open them for myself, and then we're gonna see what we get from the, the rest. So, yep. Oh, and reminder, we have, we haven't opened the these two uh packs yet. So we're gonna open them after we finish opening all the boxes. So let's go. We're gonna start with the right side again. Alright guys, sorry we're back again. Uh, my camera is having a lot of problems today, so I just gonna rush through uh, this just in case. So our first our first card we have Magmon for our rare. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing later, so <laughs> yep, gonna rush just gonna rush through this. For the rare. Another rare or green this time. Okay, we have another tamer for the EOS one tamer. Easy and Joe again, very nice. Perfect for black deck. And I do own a black deck by the way. So I and I'll be doing a deck profile very soon about my brand new black deck, I have a very nice deck list in mind, so please do, do stay tuned for that. Okay, another Hackmon, very nice. Hackmon is always good to see. Okay, Mimi and uh, Sora, nice. Oh, we got our first SR and it is a uh, Titana. Tit Titana, Titana mod? Yes, so this is the. We haven't seen this guy yet, so uh, for his first skill is. Oh, whenever a card gets discarded, you can call a level 4 or lower Digimon from your drop. Yes, you can call a level 4 Digimon for low or lower from your drop zone back to your field. Then the second effect is. Whenever one of whenever one of your Digimon gets deleted, uh, you can. There's no security. Oh, he gets he gets power plus two thousand and an additional security attack. So very very nice for purple. Purple has another, uh, respawner. So it's definitely better than uh Gallop, Chaos Gallon. I feel so. You might want to replace him with uh Chaos Gallon with him. So another Tamer, very nice. Uh, TK and, and uh, Hikari. Right, another Eos Mon spell. It's very good to see all the tamers, all the tamers from the first season of Digimon all grown up. It really brings back a lot of memories. And to see them all grown up now, really, man, it feels it's just one amazing. Uh, tai Chi again, very nice. And the last one for the right side, another one, another one of Dinosmon's uh, finisher attack. So from the right side, we only managed to pull one foil, which is very surprising. Oh, what? The, sorry about that. Let me mix cards. Yeah, we only managed to pull one foil from the right side. The rest are all rares. So let's get on to our left side. And this side, this side, and left side. Here we go. So we have three more foils from this uh, box. I don't think it's a secret, which I doubt so, but let's go on. This is our second foil, and this is Azu Lockmon. Very, very nice cut for blue. So it's a 13k, 13 cost, 5 evolution to evolve. So on evolution, you can remove all uh, Digivolutions, one Digivolution source for every single one of your opponent's Digimon. And for each evolution source that you remove, you get plus one memory so very very uh devastating card for for uh blue it's definitely a mix you can definitely want to mix this card together with uh hexa blaumon then the sec our uh, second skill is ah, for every digimon with uh if your opponent has a digimon with no digital source for every Di digimon your opponent has with no digital source he gets one security attack. So very very strong for her Hexa Blaumon decks. It's actually quite disgusting if you think about it. Right, another one one purple. 
rare. Another rare. This is the uh, this is the Azulokmon's uh, uh, ultimate form. So his uh, his first skill is on evolve, remove one evolution source. Yes, and his second and he has a carry on skill is that uh, once per turn, if your opponent does does not have a Digimon with Digimon source, you can ask suspend one of your Digimon. So let's say. I I suspend the I suspend uh the the Digimon that carries forward his skill. So it's actually pretty very very strong card. Combos well with Azulokmon or can combo well with Hexablamon for more uh double security attacks. So very very nice. Okay, this is the Eosmon uh level three. Yeah, what's it called? Moth Moth No Mon. Another right. option card. This is the purple option card for. Is the marketer also no? It's not the marketer. The marketer is always level cost. Yeah, just a purple generic purple option card. Right. Ah, this is the other black uh marketer card. This is what's the name again? Dundramon, there we go. Yeah, so like I said, Musketeers is looking to be very interesting in this pack. They can play uh, with a lot of uh, the colors. This pack, they have like red, black, purple, if I'm not wrong. So you can like ma mix and match. And we have another uh, Pulse Mon, very nice. Pulse Mon is always good. We are almost at the end, guys, so bear with me for a minute. And we have Agumon Bonds of Courage. Very, very nice. So what uh if you don't know what it does, 14 cost, 14,000 power, level 3 cost to Digivolve from a level 6. And it's a level 7 by the way. So his first key is when he attacks, you can destroy uh opponent Digimon with 13,000 uh 13,000 power or lower. And the second skill is Uh, whenever your opponent Digimon is de is deleted, you can trash the top card of his security. So very very strong card. One the, definitely one of the cards to look forward to in this pack. So very glad I pulled him. And it's actually one of the cover cards from this set. So yeah. Oh, we have a. Uh, this is our alternate art, and we put the Gabumon alternate art. Very very nice. So this is the new Gabumon, the which has. Uh, two skills. The first skill is when a man Ishida comes to play, you gain one draw one memory mob memory draw one. Uh, sorry, memory plus one. Then the second skill is uh when when your friendship uh bonds of friendship attacks, you can answer any. So he makes very very strong. He makes your uh friendship uh bonds of friendship uh attack three times in a turn. So very nice. So this is our alternate art. If I, yep, that is the last foil we're gonna get from this uh, set because that is the alternate art, another option card. Uh, another system one, very nice. The level four one, and the last pack. Let's see what do we end off with. We end off with this is a. Uh, Ogomon, yeah, there we go. So this is our second box. Not too great, I would say, but we did we did pull the Agumon bonds of courage. So can't really complain, and we got the alternate art uh, Gabumon. So very very nice. So let me just sort out everything here. So this is our. So in this box, we only managed to pull four foils, sadly, but still pretty good because we managed to pull him. So yep. So we are left with one more box guys, I'm just going to open it myself, then I'm going to do a little recap of what do we get from the total of 4 uh, boxes, so please stay tuned for that, be right back guys. Alright guys, I am back, so this is the result of 4 boxes, so our secret we managed to pull Alpha Mon, then uh, Alternates we managed to pull one of the system one, this is Blanc, 
Then we have Gabumon. Then we have two uh, Agumon. Uh, Courage. Then we have two Azulokmon. One Eosmon. Then two Dinosmon. Two Skullgreymon. One Gankumon. One Mystery Card, which I will review later. One Titanomon. Two Mamemon. And one Jasmon. And our proxy card it is Alphamon Alternate Art. So yes, among four boxes, we managed to pull two secrets, and one of them is the Alternate Art of the Alphamon, which I'm very very happy to see. So I kind of have to say I kind of lucky. So let's move on to the pack openings of the uh, Digitamas and the special reprints of the packs. So be right back, guys. Alright guys, so we are going to finish off the opening with the 3 packs of the Digitamas and the 3 packs of the Special Reprints. So I'm going to open the Digitamas first. Okay, so our first one is the green Digitama. What's Pina. the name? What's the name again? Pina. Pinamon. Okay. Uh, okay, that's very nice. Second one, we are going to open one Vivimon. The pulse mons are uh, yes in training. So last one we have another Oh this is Meramon oh, okay that's something different so this is our three tables then for the special reprints let's see can we get the Chaos Mon Auto Arms? So let's see here first pack we get uh Upamon Okay, that's a pretty nice reprint as well. It's actually another Digitama, but it's, it's in the special reprint pack. But quite a, odd, quite a good favorite for the blue deck. In fact, Hexablamon needs to play that card actually. Yeah. So, next pack. Oh, uh, this is Eldermon. Very nice. So, now we are done with the last pack. Can we end off with the Chaos Mon? So, let's see. Oh, so the last one is uh, Demi Mon. So yep, not not too bad. This is quite a Double yeah. This, this is the, Ven the vengeance card. So yep. So this is our reprints, and we have one more pack over here, which I already uh, opened. So we must I might as well just show you what I got as well. So for the pack, we got one more of this Jitama, and we have another Upamon. So the total results for the four boxes are all. So these are the reprints. These are the special reprints for the four box for my four boxes and the four digitamas. So overall, my pulls, I will have to say, I did a very <laughs> good job. I actually put two alpha mods from four boxes in for for a a carton. Normally, a whole carton only guarantees you four secrets and. They don't even guarantee you the Alpha Mon alternate art. So in a way, I can say the cut, the box, the boxes that I got for my carton from, I did a very good job. I because I already flushed out two secrets. So the remaining boxes should be two be uh, Belza Star Mon secrets. So I have to say, very good job for me. I'm quite lucky for for my box openings. So yep, that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my opening of the new. Digimon BT06 uh, box opening. I the next BT6 box opening. So please do do stay tuned for my deck. I'm gonna build a deck black uh black deck soon, very very soon. So please do stay tuned for that. And yeah, of course, it's definitely gonna involve my two Alpha Mons over here because I love Alpha Mon obviously. So please do stay tuned for that and. If I'm not wrong, our next opening will be another, oh, will be a Vanguard opening. Uh, next month, June 19, will be the release of the new uh, D series BT02, which contains the new uh, Dragonic, the so called the, re the counter cards for the Dragonic Overlord and the Phantom Blaster Dragon. So please do stay tuned for that. So, yep, that is all, guys. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching. If you like, please do like and subscribe if you like what you see. This is Jason Anispirit 22 signing off.